The story unfolds with the initial charges brought against the former United States President Donald Trump in his Georgia election subversion trial. Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee dismissed three criminal counts against Trump and three others against co-defendants, citing that the allegations were not detailed enough to sustain those six counts. Despite this, the judge left 35 other criminal counts intact, including 10 against Trump, who is the Republican candidate challenging Democratic President Joe Biden in the November 5th U.S. election. The central racketeering charge against Trump and his remaining 14 co-defendants remains in place. Trump and his co-defendants have pleaded not guilty to charges that they formed a criminal conspiracy to seek to overturn Trump's loss to Biden in Georgia in the 2020 election. The judge stated that prosecutors could seek a new, more detailed indictment on the dismissed counts. This Georgia case is just one of four criminal prosecutions Trump is facing as he attempts to unseat Biden. He also faces federal charges for his efforts to undo his election defeat and is due to stand trial in New York later in the month on charges related to hush money paid to a porn star. Trump has consistently denied wrongdoing in all four cases and asserts that they are attempts to stop him from regaining the presidency. Steve Sado, Trump's lead lawyer in the Georgia case, argued that prosecutors failed to make specific allegations of any alleged wrongdoing in the counts that were dismissed. He further claimed that the entire prosecution of President Trump is political, constitutes election interference, and should be dismissed. On the other hand, lawyers for Trump and five allies, including former White House Chief Staff Mark Meadows and Trump personal attorney Rudy Giuliani, challenged allegations that they attempted to get Georgia lawmakers to violate their oaths of office by convincing them to appoint fraudulent slates of pro-Trump electors. Two of the six charges McAfee dismissed relate to a January 2021 phone call when Trump pressed Georgia's top election official, Brad Raffensperger, to find votes to reverse his defeat in the state. The indictment did not specify in sufficient detail how Trump and his co-defendants could have urged officials to violate their oaths of office or their respective duties under the U.S. or Georgia state constitutions, McAfee found. In the judge's ruling, he noted that the charges do not give the defendants enough information to prepare their defenses intelligently, as the defendants could have violated the constitutions and thus the statute in dozens, if not hundreds, of distinct ways. To summarize, the recent court rulings in Trump's Georgia election subversion trial dismissed some charges while allowing the overall case to proceed. The central racketeering charge remains, and Trump faces additional trials related to efforts to undo his election defeat. As this legal drama continues to unfold, the world watches with bated breath to see what the future holds for the former president.